Hi there everyone, it's Cappy, 410 Expedition. Thought I'd head out into the mountains. It is a, well it's not really a beautiful fall day, but you know what, it's a fall day. And I wanted to get out before the snow really fell so I can capture all the beautiful colors. But this is going to be a very special edition of this Explorer episode. You see, I met this brave young boy at the Northwest Overland Rally. This little boy, he just inspires you. No matter what challenges you have in life, what disabilities you have in life, you just gotta get out and seek adventure. And that's what we're doing today. But, there's something special for this little boy. You see, this young lad, he's got a few favorite YouTube channels that he loves to follow. And he loves watching off-road videos. And there's two channels that are his favorites. Well, some of his favorites. And one of them is mine. And that's just like, oh, so great to hear that from him. But, we've got something a little bit special for you. And on who I'm talking about is Hunt from Team Hunt Adventures. And this is what I'm calling this special episode called Hunt for Adventure. So right now, I am heading up the Highwood Pass. The Highwood Pass is the highest paved road in Canada. It reaches up to, I think it's 72, maybe 7,400 feet. I'll confirm that when I get to the top. And just over the mountain range to the west is British Columbia. Right over this mountain at the Highwood Pass, if you were to hike up to the top, you are now in BC. It's not bad. And the colors out here today are just vibrant. I wish it wasn't overcast and it wasn't snowing. But I thought, you know what? This was unexpected, unplanned, because there's someone that I'm meeting up with and Hunt, you're going to be excited when you see who I'm meeting with. At least it's snowing and not raining. Because if it was raining, that sucks. And you know what? It's part of the adventure. Because we are hunting for the adventure. Okay, so here I am at the Highwood Pass. And uh, we're going to go on a little bit of adventure today. So Hunt, here's that surprise for you. Here's who I met up here in Canada. Hunt! There he is. How Build do you like up. that? <laughs> oh, it's too cold. It's snowing. I'm not going to expose my belt. Yeah, it's, it's cold. It's cold. But we're going for a little adventure. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep going. Okay, Hunt? See you in a bit. You see, one of the things that Hunt teaches us and has taught me is that no matter what life throws at you, you got to embrace every moment. Moments like this, meet up with friends, get out and explore. I mean, look at the beauty, look this at the amazing. mountains and you just got to share it with people. And Hunt, I want to say I, I had an amazing time spending that weekend with you. Every day we saw you, you were smiling, you were happy. And that vibe just, just transformed into me. And I just want to say thank you. You are a brave little man. And we're here for you this weekend, bud. He's got that right, Hunt. My favorite place on earth. Right here, my backyard. Beautiful. 
This is the right day for it too. Oh, I, I know. I really like the gentle snow. At the bottom, you're cold and you're thinking, is this a good idea? But once you get out here and you get up here, it's just amazing. There's zero wind. There's a nice little snowfall, light snowfall. And it just adds to the contrast of the beauty of all these mountains behind us. Thanks for inspiring me today, Hunt. I appreciate that. So, one thing I forgot to mention, I've got your badge right here, Hunt. So I'm gonna throw that guy right on the, right there. You're with me all day, bud. With me all day. There is a separate hiking trail that goes this way too. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think so. Must be, yeah, there's people up there. Chris and I are heading out to try and find a place to camp for the night and we are on the forestry trunk road uh, highway 40 or the 940 heading south to Coleman and it's actually gorgeous out here and some of the fall colors are already out and what we have to do though is we have to get out of the Kananasis country boundaries because you, you can't random camp in K country. You have to get out of the boundary onto the forestry land. So we've got, I'd say about a 40 minute drive and we'll find hopefully, cross my fingers, a beautiful camp spot that is right next to some falls hope it ain't taken because it is hunting season right now it is bow bow season the last weekend for bow and then next week starts the rifle season so this is a pretty big destination for hunters but the weather is cool though and uh, maybe it will deter people from getting out camping this weekend but if you did come out good for you I'm happy I'm proud of you because that's what Hunt wants you to do is to get out here and explore and always hunt for adventure. We found ourselves a great camp spot for the night. It's all to ourselves. It's nice and open. It's not bad actually. Got a nice fire ring. And we're next to a river, so we'll get that nice white noise at night. And I'll show you. And there are some great trout in this river. This is the Livingston River. 
that links up with the Old Man River uh, heading south. So, you know, fly fishing season is still open, but it's cold. <laughs> it's really, really cold. Don't want to put my hands in there. Want to go for a swim later? I'd love to go for a swim. <laughs> if it wasn't... <laughs> Polar Bear Club. <laughs> so I am all set up for the night. But you're asking yourself, Cappy, what are you sleeping in the night? Well, unfortunately, Hotel uh, Venture Forward is, uh, has no vacancy. But because I took the rooftop tent off the Jeep for the winter and it was also pretty wet from that weekend we had in Limestone Mountain so I have it in the garage and it was airing out and drying out and I haven't quite bolted it back down to the EH2 yet I was planning on doing that today but an opportunity president uh, well an opportunity presented itself so Going old school, camping, <laughs> gonna split, spend the night in a nice little tent. And I'm okay with that. Do you know why? Because I'm still out here doing it. I'm out here enjoying the outdoors. Plus, I have a little heater in there. It's gonna keep me toasty warm all night. Hey, look at this. It is so quiet out here. This spot is all to ourselves. I think Hunt would, would approve on this. Oh yeah, he'd approve. Plus, I love the color. The gray and the orange. Reminds me of another color. Orange and gray. Let's go see what Uncle Chris is doing. I have the Penn Manor Advertiser from Lancaster and I have the Moab Times. So we need to find some paper to start a fire tonight. And I've got all the firewood, he's got all the paper. It's a good team effort. Oh yeah, we're oh, gonna yeah. be warm. Oh yeah. And there will be food. Hey, will be food. And some frosty adult beverages. Mm-hmm. Mm Good morning, Hunt. Hope you had a good sleep last night. I know we did. Chris slept in his Ursa Minor camper and, well, me, I slept in my nice little warm, cozy tent. And you know what? I never once got cold. Look at this beautiful view. This little creek. A bit of snow. Be another adventure today getting out of here and show Chris a different route and some different places to camp for tonight when he starts making his way to the border. Ah, Java, Java, Java. Good morning, hunt. <laughs> Can you believe all this snow? My fingers are so cold. Gosh, I'm making coffee inside the Jeep right now, and then I'm gonna join up with Cappy outside. I'm already having my coffee, and I made it outside. Yeah, well, I can make it inside, the nice and warm. So I'm taking advantage of it. just left camp and we are heading straight south on the forestry trunk road uh, highway 40 and I'm going to show Chris what we call the gap and it's this gorgeous drive between these mountains and there's a river there it's the bull uh, not the bull um, it's the old man river this will be 
be a way for him to come back tonight if he needs to find a place to camp um, and show him where he can head to on his way back to the border. We had a good evening. We had a nice fire going all night. And then it was just time to go to bed. I was afraid of getting cold last night, but I had my little heater, which worked fantastic. I fired it up around 9.30 last night to get the tent pre-warmed. And about, I'd say close to five o'clock this morning, it actually cut out. That lasted me all night long. I was quite pleased. I had it on medium heat and comfortable. I also put that bottle of hot water in the foot of my sleeping bag and my feet were toasty warm all night. It's just one of those little tricks that uh, I like to pass on to people. Traffic jam. <laughs> oh. Come on. So that about uh, wraps up the quick couple of days I had with Chris and you know we thought we'd get together and I thought maybe we should do an episode dedicated to you Hunt. Uh, thank you very much for all the inspiration you give us and you and your family exploring and going out and venturing together. You're showing the rest of us that it can be done. You just got to choose to do it and I want to thank you. Yeah thanks Team Hunt. You guys are family and uh very much an inspiration so we appreciate it so again we'll see you soon okay hunt and we'll see you too team hunt adventures bye for now bye guys <laughs>